Hey everybody, it's Steve from SC Studios. So in this video I'm going to show you how to reconstruct the type of distortion that was added if you shot something in Super View and realize later you didn't want that type of distortion. And I'm also going to show you a way to take if something that uh, you shot with 4x3 and turn it into something that looks just like Super View. So they have a lot of options when you look I'm in GoPro Studio here on the Edit tab if you drag your videos into the timeline, I've got three videos here. One's 1080, one's shot at 1440, which is a 4 by 3 aspect ratio. And then there's the super wide, which is a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And we can kind of see what they all do. So 1080 is great, but it does not have the field of view that the 1440 does. So oddly, when you look at the 1440 clip, which is 4 by 3, it doesn't look 4 by 3. It looks like it's 16 by 9 because it doesn't look any different. For some weird reason in GoPro Studio, they always default the zoom to being zoomed in a bit on all your 4x3 video. So you kind of have to remember if you shot 4x3 wanting to get that extra field of view out of the top and the bottom of the frame, you got to go here and pull this back out. So you see all the stuff that it was cropping out of there, like you can see the light and the papers on the desk. I don't know why it wants to start you off at such a zoomed in setting, but step one is usually to pull that back out. So. The first example, let's say that you shot something like this, and these are all shot on a tripod of the exact same space, so we can see what's happening in each one. So Super, super View gives you the same thing you're getting with 4x3 stretched out, and they do this with dynamic stretching, so they don't stretch the middle much at all, they stretch from here out quite a bit. So let's say you shot something in Super View just like this, and you really w realize later you wanted to didn't like the distortions and you wanted it to show more like this. Uh, you can do this in post. So with the in the framing controls tab, you can go down to the zoom and you can squish the zoom back. That'll give you a 4 by 3 aspect ratio. It does tend to crush the center, so you can restore that by pushing the slider out to about this point. And then when you flip between the original 4 by 3 shot from the GoPro camera to the super view, it's barely different. There's a little bit of a difference, but it pretty much gets you back to where you were before. And if you shot with Super View and realize later you didn't want it, that's a great way to undo it. So you can't notice that the video will be a little bit wider than 4x3 because you can't get it perfectly back to where it was, but it salvages so much of it, probably nobody will notice the real difference. The types of distortions you see in in you know straight lines out of the GoPro are just due to the type of lens that they're shooting with. There's really nothing much you can do about that in the GoPro software. You can use some other exotic stuff to get rid of that in different software packages. But in here, you can kind of switch between the two and make that happen. So you can do the same thing in reverse. So let's say that you setting both of these back to the way they originally were. Let's say I shot uh, 4 by 3 aspect ratio video using the 1440 setting and I wanted it to look like super wide. I wanted, wanted to push it out to the edges. You can simulate the exact same thing by going to the horizontal zoom, pushing that all the way out, and then taking your dynamic and crushing this back in here. So what that does is it kind of restores the central area to an undistorted method and the outside is still stretched quite a bit to fill in the gap all the way to the end. So that'll give me a 16 by 9 piece of video on the output. So if we switch between the 1440 video that's been modified to what the Super View original video was, you can see again there's barely any difference. We're still getting all the height, we're stretching the edges, and it does it the same way. So that just shows you in post, after you shot something, if you regret using one aspect ratio over the other, you can kind of simulate them using these two controls down here in the framing controls of GoPro Studio. So that gives you some options. I mean, the main reason I'm using Super View in GoPro is that with the Hero 3 Plus Black, I can shoot up to 60 frames per second. And if I shoot 4x3, I'm only allowed 48 frames per second. So I'm shooting a lot of stuff now that's using the Super View to gain that extra few frames per second, because that's really what I want and I'm okay with going into post and doing the adjustments to end up with something that looks more like the original 4x3 type video when I'm done. The stretched stuff works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't and I can figure that out later and still reap the benefits of having a 60 frames per second piece of video. So that's kind of why I'm doing it. It's uh, it, 
it's nice that you don't really have to commit to it so much when you're shooting it you can change your mind later and do both of these things in post but uh, that's it take care